Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Waldron and in this inbox review we're going to be taking a look at Warhammer 40k's Games Workshops, Def Guard, um, Def Shroud, Bodyguard. Um, you get free miniatures in the box, um, it was around about £30-£35 RRP. Um, having a look at the back we get that usual fantastic bit of artwork showing them all sort of painted up and then what colours they used and all this kind of cool stuff, really really nice. Uh, so let's take a look inside what you get um, your bases and we get what is basically around about three sort of same size sprues so looking at our first sprue just here I've got a big long piece of plastic sticking out of this um, we've got our sort of front um, armor body plates just going on here um, looking at it we've got loads of sort of detail in there with the chain mail um, these man reapers are looking very sort of nasty and dangerous also uh, we've got some cloaks which are looking all nice and torn and everything um, no sort of ejector pin marks on the back there either which is rather good to see um, got more sort of um, armor detail on here also with all sorts of disgusting tentacles coming out of that and everything um, do like the chain mail looking rather rather detailed on there uh, next one Again, sort of same level of detail. We've got um, um, horns and stuff coming out of here. The Man Reaper on this one's in two halves. We have um, more sort of front plate here with all these lovely teeth and tongues coming out of it. Looking rather good indeed. Um, and I do believe each one of these spoons is going to build up to build one. Um, again, our third one just here. Lovely, lovely detail going on there. Nice cloak on this one also. We've got some nice battle damage and everything going on there. If we sort of look at that angle where um, we get our mould lines just in there. Yes, there is a light bit of flash. I'm just seeing, you might just be able to see a light bit of flash that needs to be sort of scraped out and meant to look all nice. But yeah, looking rather good. I like how there's um, no eject pin marks in any sort of nasty places. Looking, looking rather good. Again, I think we are looking at a sort of a very singular pose kind of thing going on here. So if you want more than these three guys in your army, it looks like we're going to have to do a bit of converting. So looking at our instructions here, here we've got a uh, bit of artwork on the front um, going through this we've got Death's Road Terminator 1 which um, yeah is looking very sort of a fixed pose I do believe one of them you do get the choice to actually change the front part of his armor I mean we're on to um, Death's Road Terminator 2 just here um, slight bit of options of a head on this one Right, and then moving along, here we go. Yeah, the third one, we can have him as a Death Road Champion or a Death Row Terminator 3. So you've got a slight difference in the way this one is going to look. But still, it's just one guy in this box who's got a slight different multi-pose going on. The other two are pretty sort of fixed, um, which is tending to be a lot with Games Workshop right now, which yeah, I'm not 100% happy with because, you know, you wouldn't mind to have maybe you know, six of these guys or something. But still, moving along, um, you know, it's still looking pretty clear. The instructions, you know, are not going to sort of, um, you know, kind of mess you up or anything. They are looking very nice and clear, and they've got a nice bit of colour in there to show you what was gluing where and where's going what. Uh, then we've got another, again, some sort of a colour call-outs for our um, miniatures just here. Then we have, in several different languages, the actual stats of this. So I managed to get them all three of them um, actually nicely built up. I even went off and gave them a quick spray and a wash so that you can see 
um, the detail on these um, a hell of a lot more, which hopefully you can sort of see a lot more clearly how this is going together. Um, admittedly, after building it all, the posability of these is, um, it's very sort of fixed to one sort of pose per model. Um, the actual champion, yes, there is a few other pieces to turn this into just like a normal death shroud. But apart from that, I mean, you know, it is pretty sort of fixed. So if you do want to have more than three, or shall we say four, you're going to be having to go off and do some serious sort of kit bashing and, and messing around with all that kind of stuff. But still, looking pretty fantastic. Um, you know, really good, usual quality from Games Workshop just there. So then, a quick look at their stats and in-game. Well, if we just bring out their codex just here, um, what we've got is they are... Um, pretty sort of standard apart from we've got um, five strength um, as well as the usual five toughness they've got two wounds they've got three attacks the champion's got four attacks so they're dishing out a nice bunch of attacks and they've got a two plus armor save along with that they've got a four plus invulnerable save their movement is only four inches though so they are kind of slow um then they have their plague um their plague spurt gauntlets which are like six inches pistol d6 um which is only sort of a strength three damage one they are automatically hits um and they have that plague weapon ability as well so not bad bit of shooting probably just before you charge in or something or, or during combat and that um where it really does nice to come into play is their man reapers these man reapers are pulling out um they use their their free or four attacks depending on champion or normal terminator but then it's a free plus to their strength so they could tech on vehicles minus three ap d3 wound uh, d3 damage and the play weapons ability so they're really sort of nasty in hand-to-hand -hand combat then we have a few more little abilities they have the eyes of mortarium which gives characters within three inches a plus one to their attack attack excluding mortarian uh, and then they also have the silent bodyguard so basically they can take wounds off sort of whatever character they're protecting and they also have teleport strike also uh, so that teleport strike is probably going to be quite good considering you know they've only got a four inch movement so uh, really damn good in game the models look absolutely fantastic Great quality, you can't really grumble, but yes, their, their posability is very limited. So um, um, hopefully you've enjoyed our inbox review here of the Death Guard, Death Shroud, Terminators by Games Workshop. So until next time, my name is Bob Waldron, this is Genesis Models, and I hope you've enjoyed.